Hello, this is Christy from 52 Hydra 3D, and today I'm just going to go through some of the updates that we've got with Blender 2.67, which was released yesterday. Uh, if I get this out when I think I'm going to get it out, so we've got a load of new stuff. Um, maybe not quite as cool an update as last time 2.66, but pretty good anyway. So let's have a look. Um, I've got Blender open here, uh, wrong one, that one, and you can see the uh, cool new splash image. I don't think it's as good as the last one, but uh, you can make your, your own mind up on that. The first thing that we should uh, notice about it is this was rendered using Freestyle, which is the new non-realistic or non photo realistic and cartoon rendering system. So we're going to have a quick look at that right now. Um, so if I go to this one, we've got it here. Now, usually, Blender tries to be as realistic as possible. Uh, so making sure light bounces everywhere, everything's nice and smooth, everything works properly. Freestyle rendering, on the other hand, allows you to do sort of cartoon rendering. And I'm not quite sure how much of it works yet, but I've been playing around and I'll just show you the basics. So I've got this Steve model here from Minecraft, uh, and I'm just going to go into um, here under the render tab and click freestyle. You have to be in Blender internal render engine to do this. You, uh, it's not supported in cycles yet. But that's not going to be a big problem. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm just recovering from a cold. Um, so, once you've checked that under freestyle, you can go over to the new render layers panel. And everything in render layers that used to be around here somewhere has been moved over to a new tab just to keep everything nice and simple and that works for everything not just freestyle stuff so under freestyle I don't understand any of this but what I've uh, worked out is if you add click add freestyle line set you have a few quite a lot of options here actually and so if we render this now you see you've got this black line around everything which kind of gives it that cartoon-esque view that we got with this one. Basically that's as much as I've worked out uh, freestyle so far. So you can change the color, I've worked out that. So, so I render that now. I'll do it with a red outline. And yeah. Anyway, enough of that because I don't understand how to use it very well. I'm sure there'll be tutorials online pretty soon on how to use it. Uh, so let's have a look at the release notes and see what else is new. Paint system, uh, I think all the brushes between different painting systems have been uh, sort of unified and made to work better with each other. Um, motion tracking, more complicated motion tracking stuff that nobody understands. Uh, compositing, they've an added a restrict border to the compositing viewer which m works much like the uh, the uh, render border in a, a rendering a scene it just can make compositing faster you can do it by pressing control B 3d printing we've got this new 3d printing add-on which I don't know how to use because I don't do 3d printing node editor yeah new stuff and Python nodes, there's always stuff like that that nobody other understands. And, but we do have cycles rendering. Under this, we have subsurface scattering shader. And I'll show you what I mean here. Um, when light hits an object, if the object is translucent at all, it, it will diffuse through the uh, the matter of the object and uh, this is in real world and it will kind of produce a um, a glow so if you get a torch 
and put it onto the palm of your hand and turn it on you will see the light even though the light sort of um, spreads through your hand and you can sometimes even see it from the other side and that's what subsurface scattering tries to replicate so here I have two planes this is a rendered image one um, well actually they're almost identical and two spot lamps which are completely identical the only difference is one has got an, a normal diffuse material and this one has a subsurface scattering material there is no difference in the lamps you might think oh I've just turned the softness value up on the spot lamp there is absolutely no difference so these are <coughs> <coughs> sorry uh, these are the two here and yeah so that's the one that's just uh, I think this is the one with subsurface scattering yeah and you can choose how much light diffuses through the um, through the object by these values which but I don't quite work understand those yet either I really don't understand much do I um, one thing to note you must be in CPU rendering in order for this to work I don't think it's supported on the GPU yet or at least whenever I try to do it it just uh, creates a black area where it, it should if I'm on CPU generate a uh, thing like that anyway is there anything else new on this update there seems to be a few new um, mesh modeling tools I'm sure you can work out how to use those uh, they're probably in I don't know where they are but you'll find them um, for a more up in-depth um, look at this update you can probably go to blender cookie where they will have a more up-to-date or um, in-depth overview of these um, so thanks for watching Please like on Facebook and you can like this video, you can also subscribe on YouTube, you've got the idea, goodbye.